Hi, good morning. Good morning. I'm Patty. I'm Tom. We're down here this morning to start work on Southern Lady for painting the bottom. And Tom wants to wax the sides and also to caulk a porthole. The uh, portion of the uh, propane heater that comes up to the top, I glued it on on Monday. And now today I want to finish sealing it and putting the stainless steel cap on it to make sure it's good and waterproof. So that's uh, that's what we're going to be working on today. And uh, so stay with us and I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, it's a really gorgeous day down here on the Chesapeake, an unusually warm spring day. Beautiful. Um, I think this is an ambitious agenda we have, but we'll see how far we get. Okay, talk okay. to you later. Let's get to work. Yep, let's get to work. Okay. I'm almost done. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Darn right. It's that artistic trait of mine. Yeah. Can I make... Broad some, strokes. Can I do some artwork down here? Yeah. Broad strokes. There you go. Broad. I Ooh, nice landscape. I now, can. what do you call that? Is that coal mine or is that nighttime? No, this is um, midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Actually, maybe it's Midnight in the Boatyard of Good and Evil. Oh, There's okay. a book that's Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil mm. about Savannah. Well, what part is the good? Me. <laughs> you want to ask what part the evil is? Yeah. I don't think you should. <laughs> it's the, the bottom of the boat is definitely evil. <laughs> no, it's just interesting. As long as it does its purpose, keeps the water on the outside, and that paint will definitely keep the critters from getting a hold. And we want no critters. No critters. Because if they're going to be critters on their boat, they have to work. That's and right. these critters don't work, so they're not welcome. So this is what sailors do when they're not sailing. Yes. Actually, I think this is midnight sky. And this is midnight in the garden in the boatyard of Good and Evil. Yeah, those stones are slippery when you try to put your feet on them. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of boat. What am I going to do? We're going to have lunch. 
I could do the next boat. Uh, we didn't bring any blue paint. So we can make it black. I'm one of the few, well, there's a couple power boats that use black. I read once where the barnacles don't like black for like compared to other colors. Now maybe that's just an urban myth. So they're not New York barnacles because if they were from the city, they would love black. Black is the color that people wear in the city. Oh, oh, that's a, so, a very artsy yes. color. So that's why we have it. Oh, okay. Even though she's a Southern lady, I'm not too Southern. I've never actually seen the boat when it's been pulled out of the water to see how much growth is on the bottom because they pull it out when I'm not here and then they power wash it. But usually by the time I see it, it's in pretty good condition. Was this always black or did you choose to No, it was black? No, it was red. Um, and like you can see an area right right there where the red is, sh is showing through, which kind of tells me the black is wearing off. And only it'll only last like two seasons at most. Like this is the second season. Last season I just touched up the bare spots. Well, you know what? Considering I had joint replacement surgery on this part of my body and I broke multiple bones and my shoulder, I really healed well. I'm, I mean, the fact that I could paint like this is now, pretty impressive. You want to tell people that that did not happen while you were sailing. Oh no, that didn't happen while I was sailing. It happened on my first day of retirement while I was walking. Yeah. I tripped and fell and broke my ankle and my shoulder in several places. Which is why it's safer to be a sailor than a walker. Oh, as long as you know how to swim. Well, we, we know how to swim. Yeah. That's not a problem. Plus, we wear harnesses and life jackets, usually, especially when we're by ourselves. And let's be honest, if I'm going to fall into the water, there's less of a chance that I'm going to break a bone than if I fall on concrete or pavement. True. Sure. end of another episode we're done for the day um i'm not sure tom will include it but i did a little dance before which has always been the dance i do as my parents leave as the kids leave i'm a little crazy but he loves me anyway right, right honey right. bye guys bye hope you enjoyed it